what is happening guys and today as you can see on the screen now it is FIFA 15 ratings time I don't know if these are confirmed or not please tell me in the comments if these are confirmed or not but today I am doing my local club's ratings Chesterfields and I'm going to just run down on a few players who I actually think should have been upgraded upgraded a bit more than what they have and tell you what players I look forward to enjoying in this chestful squad and that so up front we start with Doyle he's got some good stats so far I hope he keeps his 80 pace because he deserves that and he soon will get an inform on Wednesday because he scored a hat trick so hopefully he's a 64 rating and hopefully he will be very very good because I will buy him of course but I think he deserves at least a 62, 63 rating from overall last season. So that is pretty good. I'm glad Armin Angela is finally on Ultimate Team. And yeah, he looks a pretty, pretty nice car to be fair. 79 pace, which I hope he keeps and 77 physical. He looks a very, very nice OP card. So I hope he becomes the 61 rating that he is. And yeah. O'Shea is a 63 cam. I hope he stays like that. I hope he gets an upgrade, if not, to a 64 because he deserves it. And his stats look alright, but the rating should be a bit more. Same with Roberts. I hope he's at least a 68, 67 rating. Get up, get, get upgraded a bit more because he deserves it. If so, he could get a shiny silver. And hopefully his pace and his physical does upgrade a bit more the Riqua 61 is a very very good overall for him with 83 pace I hope he keeps the 83 pace and to be fair I think he should just keep that rating because that is fair and Talbot I don't really have to say anything about him because I haven't seen him, seen him all season and to, si to say he's got a 61 that is very nice of EA Everett this is the biggest like downgrade that I would not give him I would not give him a 64 I'd give him a 65 shiny silver or a non rare silver because he deserves it because he's been good all season last season and this season so I don't see why they downgraded him so hopefully yeah, you put him back up to a 65 because he deserves it Tommy Lee this is another one why is he a 64 EA Please tell me why he's a 64. He was the best keeper last season. He should have got upgraded to at least a 65 non-rare silver. I don't know why he's a 64. And I don't know why he put his diving down. Because his diving should be a lot higher than 57. So EA, if you don't put it up, I don't know what's wrong with you. Because it should be a lot higher than a 57 diving. What the fuck are you on about, EA? Sort it out, please. Sam Erd. 61, that is a pretty, pretty good rating for him, saying he was a 58 last season. Well done, Sam Erd. I hope you do well with Chesterfield. And 61 rating's good. 61 rating for Jones. I, I really wanted him to be about at least a 63 shiny, shiny bronze. 78 pace is good. Hopefully he keeps that. And hopefully he carries on and gets a January upgrade. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. I hope Doyle gets a January upgrade to a silver because he's been doing good so far. Seven goals in six games. He's the top scorer. In the old English leagues, I think. He's doing better than Diego Costa at Chelsea. So, he should definitely get an upgrade if he carries on. Uh, Moore's using CDM. He looks a 6-6 six, six card. I'm glad he's been upgraded to a shiny shiny bronze with all them stats. Because he's been a 6-6 six, six player last season. And now on the bench, Oli Banks. I think a 61 is good because he's not been on FIFA before. Them stats look good from a non-league club to come to us, so that's very good. I'm glad Humphrey's got a re um, an upgrade. Um, he's a very good player, and them stats do suit him. Marg Reiter, um, he's a lone player, but he should be a higher rating than that for Wolves. It should be a lot more better pace than that, but Jimmy Ryan should have been in that place. And Jimmy Ryan is a 63, and he should keep that rating. Johnson, that is a pretty good um, card for... Um, coming from Aston Villa so that I think should stay the same and that's why 
I think A should keep it the, that way. Klukas hasn't got transferred yet on FIFA 15 at the moment, but he should get transferred as soon as FIFA 15 is properly released, and he should be at least a 62 bronze, and them stats look pretty good for him. Gardner is the same as Banks, but I hope he gets at least a 61, same as Banks, because he deserves it. His pace should be at least a 70, and that is really it. Bocco should stay as a 59, but his pace should be upgraded to at least 75, because he's very, very quick, and that. So, that is all I've got for this video. This video is at least 6 minutes long, so I do hope you check it out, and leave a like, subscribe, and comment. If we could smash 15 to 20 likes on this, I know you can do it guys, just for this Chesterfield team at least. And then I'll bring out some player ratings or some squad, a little squad builder on the web app, web app on Wednesday. As long as we're at 15 to 20 likes on this, I know you can do it. So keep smashing the like button guys, sub in, pardon me, and comment in the section below if you think any of these um, ratings are actually final. Because I don't think they're final, and some of these are very, very biased towards um, Chesterfield fans. So if there's any Chesterfield fans out there, please tell me in the comments about if you think these ratings should be the same. But that's all I've got for you guys. Um, when we hit 20 likes, I'll do a squad builder on the web app. A cheap squad builder. And yeah, so thank you for watching guys, and peace.